consider the plane x minus 2y plus z equals 7. For the following planes, will they be parallel, equal, or will they intersect in a line? Now, first plane, x plus y plus z equals 2. First property we should check is parallel. So if we draw two parallel planes, put in some normal directions. So the idea there is, okay, the normal direction is going to be the direction that's perpendicular to our plane. So we'll choose vectors that point along those directions. Call them n1 and n2. If we have parallel planes, then n1 and n2 are just going to differ by constant. So if we have that constant as a negative number, that just means they'll be pointed away from each other. Now, but given planes as equations like this, we get the normal directions just by peeling off the coefficients of x, y, and z. So for our plane here, we'll have 1 minus 2, 1. Then the normal direction here will be 1, 1, 1. Now note, if these were multiples of one another, Okay, since we have a 1 in the z-coordinate, the multiple would have to be 1, which would mean our normal directions would have to be equal. Since that's not the case, planes are not parallel. Okay, they definitely can't be equal then, so that means they're going to have to intersect in a line. Next plane. Let's try minus 2x plus 4y minus 2z equals minus 14. Here we peel off the normal direction. We get minus 2, 4 minus 2. And then we note that's just going to be minus 2 times the normal direction of our original plane. So that's going to mean our planes are either parallel, not equal, or equal. Now, if they're equal, okay, all we have to do is check and see if they intersect in a single point. If we have parallel planes, they intersect in a single point, then they have to be equal. So what we're going to do is, okay, for our first plane, we'll set x and y equal to 0. It's going to give me z equals 7. So that means the first plane contains the point 0, 0, 7. Then we'll let x and y be equal to 0 in our second plane. Again, we're going to get z equals 7. So both planes contain the point 0, 0, 7. So that means they're equal. Final example. Let's try minus 2x plus 4y minus 2z equals 0. So note, normal direction here, it's going to be the same as the one in the second part. So these are going to be parallel, not equal, or equal. Now, same idea. What I can do here is, okay, note we can clean this up a little bit by dividing through by a minus 2. Then we note the origin, 0, 0, 0, is going to be a point in this plane. Now, the way I check and see if a point is in a plane, we just put our point, the coordinates, into our equation. The equation is satisfied, you're on the plane. If it's not satisfied, you're not in the plane. So if we take 0, 0, 0, put it into this plane here, we're going to wind up getting 0 equals 7. So that's going to mean 0, 0, 0 is not a point in the original plane. So we'll have that these two planes are going to be parallel, but not equal.